Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the next geometrical object that is ray. Now the word ray, whenever it comes to our mind, the first thing that comes to our mind is the sun rays, the rays of light coming from the sun. Now you might wonder that okay during the daytime there is sunlight everywhere but I, we do not see the rays of light coming from the sun. That's because there is so much of light everywhere that we evidently cannot see that specific ray of light. If you want to see the ray of light I can tell you a, a, a solution, I can tell you uh, a trick by which you can evidently see a ray of light. Go inside a dark room, close all the doors and windows, close everything. Just leave a tiny hole open somewhere. Maybe if in the window pane, if you have a tiny hole somewhere, just keep that hole open. Other than that, close all the doors and windows so that the room is like a dark room. The, the moment there is sunlight outside, you would see that the sun rays entering inside the room through that small tiny hole. And this is how the rays would enter, which tells you, the, which shows you the rays of light basically. And that this is an example of a ray. So what is a ray? Ray is also part of a line with a fixed starting point and then extending endlessly. Now, we have learned about line which extends indefinitely in both directions. We learned about line segment which has two fixed points. Now we will learn about ray which has one fixed point and it extends indefinitely in the other direction. So that's ray. So we can say that in, in some sense ray is an intermediate thing between line and line segment. Line has both infinite ends, line segment has both finite ends and ray has one finite end and one infinite end. So that's how we can differentiate between ray, line and line segment. So what do you think? How will we represent a ray of light? So a ray of light is represented as AB with an arrow sign above where you have the arrow only on one side because it extends indefinitely only on one side. So if you name this as AB, this is how we would represent this. Now some of the examples are the rays from the sun or the rays from the torch. So these are all examples of rays of light which you can you know practically visualize how a ray of light looks like. So here why do you have one fixed stand? Because when you when the rays of light comes from the torch, so obviously the source is fixed. So here it is fixed, but this end is not fixed, so it extends endlessly on the other side. So that's the concept of a ray of light. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.